this is Artifacts of Mars. And what you're seeing has got me infuriated. So this video might be a little rough. I don't normally get this angry. But they're threatening the president, this company. Uh, it's some company that caters to Dykes, Devani, D-H-V-A-N-I. I don't care who they cater to. It's just for reference. But you can't threaten the president. Uh, you can't, you know, they show him hogtied and he's down on the ground and she's doing whatever to him. I can't even tell that much, but this is a threat against the president, which, of course, they deny. And we're up to me. I'm going to spell it out to you folks at Devani. If it were up to me, and I told you this in a tweet, your CEO would be arrested immediately and be sitting in a prison cell awaiting trial. And were up to me, your entire campaign staff would all likewise be arrested and they will be sitting in prison cells awaiting trial. And we're up to me, your offices, stores, whatever you have, I have no idea, I've never heard of you before this morning. Your uh, offices, stores, whatever, would all be raided to see if there's any credible threat against the president. This is illegal. This is not free speech. I'm sorry. Some of the a lot of their ads in this campaign aren't illegal. This one is. That's clearly threatening the president, and you can't do that. And I don't care what they feel or anything like that. This is not about feelings. In fact, I, I, they call this an angry woman. At first I thought it was a guy. Until I read down there and said it was a woman. I, I couldn't even tell. Anyway... Disgusting. More than disgusting, I think they should be arrested, like I said. Here's their website if you're interested. It's just what it said it was. I'm going to raise hell with my uh, elective representatives. Not that it'll do me any good because they won't listen. Uh, this is not freedom of speech, folks. Not that one ad, at least. This is illegal, what they're doing. That's their Twitter page, and yes, I let them have it. This is just for reference. This apparently is their Instagram thing. I've obviously heard of Instagram. I know nothing and care nothing about it. I'm not on it. It doesn't interest me whatsoever. That's just for reference. That one's probably not illegal. Grossly unethical, yes, but not illegal. And last but not least, here's the reference from M. Uh, an NBC affiliate or whatever is some local station. Yeah, there's the ad that's a lot smaller, but you can still see it's the same thing. They're holding, they're basically threatening the president. I gotta say this again to you people, Devani. For up to me, your entire ad, uh, people, and I'm going to include not just your ad people, your entire board of directors, and your CEO would all be in prison cells right now awaiting trial for threatening the president. This is how seriously I take this. I suppose it'll be let slide like everything else is. Uh, if Trump was really a dictator, like these idiots are claiming... This wouldn't be allowed. And yes, he's aware of it. His son is aware of it. Ah, uh, 30 foot high billboard featuring a model binding a model. Good Lord. 
binding a Trump lookalike with red, white, and blue roll ball stomping on his face was put up Tuesday as part of an advertising campaign by Devani a Portland based clothing company. Portland, Oregon. Need I say more? Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., tweaked the media Friday for not writing about the billboard sooner. Since you had time to thoroughly cover a stupid and tasteless meme seen by 8 million people, 8 people with incredible outrage, I figured you should dedicate the same time and outrage to this billboard in Times Square, you hypocrites, he said in a tweet. Well, I've seen enough. I'm going to raise hell with my elected representatives until that C- CEO and board of directors and the ad people are all in prison awaiting trial and the offices raided to find out if there is any credible threat against the president. You can't do this. It doesn't matter who they are. You cannot threaten the president. And that's what they just did. I'm not backing down, folks. If it were up to me, they would be in prison awaiting trial. Not the clerks and stuff like that, but the ad people, board of directors, and the CEO. And their entire operation will be shut down until they're cri- until it's determined that there's no credible threat against the president. I would investigate those models, too, because uh, if the models are doing this, that's illegal, too, and they are threatening the president. So I'm going to include the models, too. I think they, I hate to use the word models, they're disgusting to look at, but uh, just for, you know, just for identification purposes, yeah. They should be included in this and arrested to see if they intend harm upon the president. I'm sorry, you cannot threaten public officials. Uh, that's illegal, folks. It's not freedom of speech. And unfortunately, from what I've read, their sales are actually up. I never heard of these morons before. Uh, they've done, got me riled. They done made me, made an enemy. You people at Devani, I will do everything I can within the law to see to it your sta- the ones responsible for this are arrested. I will, t- I will yell at my, uh, elected representatives. I will you know, trying to email the uh, Attorney General in New York, maybe. We'll see what I can do. Anything within the law, see to it your company is punished for this. I'm on the facts of Mars. I'm not backing down. I stand by my statements! Thank you and have a nice day.